Welcome to Don't Shortcut Business Logic in Code Units. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, today's topic is inspired by real life. It's inspired by events that uh, has happened, and, and has happened way too often in way too many places. Um, it's the concept of ignoring code units that does really simple things and just do them by yourself and um, thereby you might break a lot of stuff that you don't know you're breaking and you might break stuff in the future but anyway let's let, let me show what i'm talking about here so um here's an extension and um in this case Right now, I'm just adding something to the sales order page, but this might be somewhere completely different, but just as an example. So the customer asks, hey, Eric, I need I, I need a way to uh, to release a sales order, to reopen uh, something. Um, so you say, um, release, that's the status field. So so it's rec, in this case, sales header, it's rec.status. So I go, let's hit F12, let's see if your status. This is just an enum. There's no validation code here or anything. Okay, but there might be validation code in the future. So, uh, so okay, I know what to do. So I'll do reg validate status and then I'll do really status. And I will say, okay, we are, we're opening. Let's say that that's, that's what we want to do. And I even go, you know, modify true because I want to do this proper. So there you go. That is perfect. Um, and it might just work. Uh, so it might just be kind of perfect, but it's also very, very dangerous. Um, because you, you validate it because maybe something there's validation code f uh, code in the future or there maybe there's uh, validation code in another extension or stuff like that. But that's not the problem here. The problem here that this field should never be edited. This field is con the content of this field is controlled somewhere else. The content of this field in this case is controlled by uh, sales release, what do you call it? let's call it management. So there's a code unit called sales uh, what is it called? Uh, I think it's called release wow what do you do when you release a sales document? There you go. I was just about to say, what do you do if you remember the uh, name of code unit? Well, uh, so if we go look at this code unit, uh, we see that um, it has an on run function. That's great. Apparently, that would be. Uh, it's copy, sales, 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 validation, it calls it function called code. So here's the problem that some of these code units has this function called code that is to do and it's like a leftover. Um, but long story short, this one will release something. But if we look at, at if we look at this document, we will see that there is a, uh, let's search for procedure. There's a reopen function. So in this case, that was what I wanted to do. The great thing about this reopen, because in, in the end, it kind of does the same thing that we do. In this case, there's no, not even validate on it, but there are, uh, there are events here um and 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 that, that's the problem that if i want to do something in in my app i want to trigger something that happens on release or on reopen 
there's a manual release and there's two. So there's many functions here. Then I subscribe from my app to those events. And I expect that if a order is going to be released or, or, or reopened, this is the code that's going to do it. But if this code, so semicolon, if this code is run, then this code unit will never get touched, right? This code unit will never be in here. We would actually do sales reopen, and then we'll do a reopen, and we'll see. We need to uh, to add rec here, right? Uh, so, so if we do this instead of this, so like this, then we are all happy because the, we're using the business logic in the in the code unit, and thereby we're triggering all the right events. If we do this, then we're shortcutting everything, and shortcutting everything means that events are not called, and and my app will break uh, if my app was. Depend, depending on this this thing happening. Uh, so he, the, the, the tricky part, the truly, truly tricky part here and, and uh, is that there's no way for you to see that this field is special, right? Sure, it says that you are not allowed to edit it, but you can do that from code, right? Um, but there is, there is, there, there is no property property in here saying that this field can only be changed if you are using code unit four hundred and fourteen, right? So the the problem here that we do not there's no rules saying anywhere. Hey, there's. This field can only be edited by this code unit, and there's no, there's no documentation, there's no uh, guides or hints or warnings or anything like that saying that, hey, this field should only be edited by code unit four fourteen. The only way you can know that is by opening up the base app. Select code units, and then start reading. Um, and you know, there's there's a lot. There's also a lot that has nothing to do with what I'm 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 talking about here. Um, but it is the danger of the the platform that of the application, not the platform, perhaps the platform, but at least the application that there is no nothing to guide you to the right solution. It's super easy to create the wrong solution. Uh, and the problem is that the wrong solution in this case looks that it works perfectly. G great. But you might break out of service. So, so just to be clear, there's other things that, that is going on in, in the release also. Um, uh, there are some check of of what's happening on lines and and stuff like that. So uh, so like here we got to check sales lines and gotta make sure that uh, that the lines are in a state where you're allowed to reopen it and and so on. Um, but th it, this is something that happens too often in a, in a lot of places. I don't know. I don't have a good solution uh, how this can be be done from, let's say that Microsoft are watching this video and say, huh, we want to help in this situation. What should we do? Uh, maybe some sort of prophecy on the field saying, hey, this field is controlled by the following objects. And if, if, if uh, it's not in those if you're using field in in outside those objects, create a warning or a source code hint or or, or whatever. Um, anyway, um, stop doing this and uh, and and use those code units uh, because 
then you're not breaking anything. And the problem is here that you might not be breaking anything right now, but then tomorrow after you make this change, your customer is installing another one of my apps. And that app happened to use those events and rely on those events to make sure that data is, is, is correct. And so now you're breaking my app tomorrow. It's dangerous, I know. It's, it's, and it's confusing. Anyway, let me know in comments below what you think about this. And uh, if you need more ale hacking, check this one out. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.